Alright, let's go. Can you guys see much more? Dummy, open the door and see Hi. Hey. 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 Okay, we're gonna be playing single player mode. Alright, I'm gonna go over there and I'm gonna I'm yeah, uh, yeah, I sweat so bad I can just tell myself. I don't know why this is I sweat it really bad. Not the as bad, but this time I didn't touch much. Yeah, So your officers go through what you went through. Oh. You know, it's, it's, it's heartbreaking to see that. And Report by Sun's own intelligence unit, warned by 60 Minutes, warned those white supremacists and militia members January 6th about cruel erupting violence, their rage focused on Congress. We're expecting a lot of some large amounts of money. No, I was just an admin, so I saw everything. We're expecting all the cases and points in the counter process. We may have some people within the group that may be armed. We had contingency planning for that, uh, but nothing about a armed violent attack on the United States Capitol. But I see when we look at it. I'm adding I fire. Think <laughs> this was I don't know why, but I'm adding fire. Fire! Maybe the lie considers two different things. He thought he had everything under control. Well, guys, but look he at was this. concerned enough to get additional helmets for his officers and widen the perimeters. He asked the sergeants and arms to activate the National Guard, yeah. but they wouldn't approve a formal request. Cal. A decision he told us. Come live streaming on YouTube right now. President Trump finished speaking to his. You, you can see it. Oh, yeah, a couple of bombs. Like, go to you. You know when you play Fortnite, there's a guy at you. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. 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 No. So, sorry. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Some sorry. Told sorry. Us, well, some officers were diverted by the bombs. The seditious mob stormed the bike rack barricades on the west side of the Capitol. Describe that scene before me. When the mob first got to the perimeter, they tore apart, the middle tore apart the bike rack. We really started throwing it at the officers' heads. It was well coordinated. She suddenly made an time. urgent call for help to the DC Metro Police. About a hundred officers responded immediately. Right there at the archway. Let me move my um webcam up a little bit. Um, so you, so you, you guys, the shim, the viewers out there can see. With the mob battering the door, Sun called on the National Guard. He says it took him a half hour to make his way up the chain of command to the office of the Secretary of the Army, which controls the D.C. National Guard. I was pleading, absolutely pleading, for National Guard assistance as quickly as possible with the, uh, with the Secretary of Army's uh, representative. Uh, and tell him I need boots on the ground now. He kept saying, oh, I don't like the optics. A natural guard standing in line with the Capitol building behind them. And this is why the siege is under. This is why the siege is underway. What's going through your head? I'm baby. 
literally begging for support from the men and women. And that's what I'm getting. The Army told us there was no discussion of optics, but the chief of the D.C. Metro Police, who was also on the call, confirmed to us Sun's account. It took another three hours and 15 minutes to mobilize and deploy the National Guard. It was 8 p.m. when the combined forces of police and National Guard cleared the Capitol, uh. making it safe for lawmakers to return to the floor to certify the election of Joe Biden and Kamala Harris as the next president and vice president of the United States. We had 60 law enforcement officers injured, 15 went to the hospital. Capitol Police lost two of their officers that week. They did not fail in their mission. They need someone to, to, to really stand up and, and let them know they, they didn't fail. It's hard to understand how you can describe what we all saw as successful. I know they didn't approve, but the number one goal is to protect the members of Congress. They protected the members of Congress, and they need to be recognized for that. Officer Eugene Goodman led the mob away from a corridor made by his security detail just moments before. Since the siege on the Capitol, federal and state law enforcement have made arrests every day. Because cell phones were so ubiquitous, authorities have a cache of digital evidence. About 140,000 pictures and videos so far. Many of the people who rampaged through the Capitol revealed themselves posting their actions on social media. Now facing federal criminal charges, Kevin Seifert, the man with the Confederate flag, Adam Johnson, who walked off with Nancy Pelosi's lecture, the man with his Ooh, look, at this, look at this guy, look at this, look, watch, 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 watch. Oh my god, I'm on X Games mode. Last week, the acting U.S. attorney for the District of Columbia said, expect more arrests and charges tied to sedition and conspiracy in the days ahead. What we saw on January 6th in D.C. in some ways may have been the most predictable terrorist incident. Bam! I'm the native grounded. Wait, can I, can I put blocks down here? Can I put You know what? I'm just gonna like 